Hey Wampers, in this video I'll be showing you how to create your own cup and how to grace it with super materials. This is beginner friendly, so feel free to follow along and without further ado, let's start creating the cup. First we grab a cylinder from the top bar menu. Using the panel on the right we can control all the properties of this cylinder. Let's scale it to our liking and using the roundness slider we can round up the edges. To hollow out the inside of the cup, let's make a copy by duplicating our cylinder, scale that a bit smaller from the center and turn it into a negative. Turning an object negative subtracts it from the object above it in the scene list on the left. Now to smooth out the inside, we'll turn up the goop slider. The goop slider is how much you want your objects to blend into each other. We see now that our cup is a bit more smooth. I'm then creating the handle by rotating another copy of our main cylinder, making it flatter and creating a hole by adding another smaller copy of that cylinder and making it negative. We can see here that our negative for the handle is cutting into our cup and we can easily fix that by dragging the primitives for the handle on top of the others in the scene list. Just adding some gooping again to have a nice round handle and here we go, our cup is finished. Now let's add materials starting with a simple one. To add a material, we can select our union, go to the materials menu at the top bar and click on create new. At the right side, we can now play around with the material settings like color, metalness, roughness, glass, and even more options with pro. You also do have a dedicated tutorial for those materials if you are interested in learning all about them. For pro users, there's another way in which we can add and even blend materials to our objects. For that, let's click on our union and get out a new cube primitive. Since we have the union selected, the primitive will go straight to the bottom of it in the scene list. Now, we turn this cube into a stain object, which will apply the material to all objects within that union. This also works with our super materials. So let's select the cow material and split this cup in half. It's pretty cool. We can also play around with the material settings to completely change the looks of our texture here. Now, why don't we add a second super material to the other half of it? For that, we simply copy our stain cube and move it to the left side of the cup. For our second material, let's choose the iridescent bubbles material and play around with its texture settings. What's really cool is that we can also blend them together using the gooping function. Here are a few more fun material experiments with our cup. We can also use our models for graphic design, like creating this poster. Once you're happy with something that you've created, you can click on the publish button at the top right, choose your settings and share it with us and the community. Thank you so much for watching this video. We hope that you got inspired to create your own cup and we will see you in the next video.